Okay. Hello there and welcome. And after two weeks of riveting Company of Heroes 2 action, we're starting to get into the meat of the tournament. This is going to be a brief interview with one of the players that has brought us some of the best play we've seen so far. And it's with Helping Hands. Hello, Hands. Hello, A. E. How are you? Pretty damn well. How are you? I'm good. I am. I'm pretty tired. I, I had to go out last night and was drinking with some mates, but now I'm back. I'm back home, safe and sound, and ready to do an interview. Were these drinks of a celebratory nature? Because you came out victorious <laughs> in a best of three, and it's a pretty damn good player. Um, yeah, uh, Raz was. Uh, I, I actually, when I uh, played against him, well, before actually playing the games, I was pretty worried because I looked at his, his uh, ranks. I, that's what I do with every person before I play against them. I j just check to see what they are on the leaderboards, and I see that he's both rank one as Soviets in two v two and as the Austere. Yeah. And he's got a m menacing streak of sixty one at the moment as Germans, and that you know. So he wasn't to be taken lightly. Yeah. Um, in in the first no, no. game, as Germans uh, operating from the south of Longra, you rocked the Ostgruppen strategy. Ostgruppen, I... Yeah, not Gruppen, yes. Ruppen. But um, <laughs> people would, maybe that aren't accustomed with your style of play, would think that you hadn't taken Raz seriously enough. But that's not the case, is it? No, um, a lot of people... Uh, well, the Ostgruppen strategy doesn't get enough... Uh, Enough credit, I think, because it's, it's it's a very good strategy if you know what you're doing. The idea behind the Ostrupen strategy is to use the the Ostrupen soldiers themselves as meat shields. I know it's not very uh, humane and all that, but that's what they are. They are very cheap soldiers that you can uh, utilize in a great way, especially against uh, Raz's sniper strat. As you noticed, he was he was picking away at them, but it really didn't affect me that much because I can reinforce them faster than he can kill them. And uh, you know they they're very cheap to reinforce, so I'm using these guys to take the casualties. While my more expensive units, like my officer and my Panzer Grenadiers with Shreks, you know, those guys aren't, uh, you know, are dying as much, and therefore I'm not, you know, my my economy is not hurt for manpower. Well said, and and you enacted that beautifully because obviously his sniper, I think, had 80 odd kills, correct? And obviously you ended up winning the game. You had good amounts of map control at different stages. Mm -hmm. One thing to be said, however, is you had Raz in his base with only one territory, the top um, northernmost territory on the Soviet base, yet he managed to come back and push you back all the way into your base. What does that say to you about Company of Heroes 2's uh, territory dynamics? I'm not sure about that. I, I, I really prefer the old Vico territory where if you um, the amount of territory you had uh, uh, dictated your population cap because... Uh, the fact that he, you know, stills every, you know, it's basic for everybody to have a hundred pop cap. He could just he, he easy, easily brought on that SU-85. Now, if it was a Vico, he wouldn't have been able to have that, you know, he wouldn't have been able to bring that on because he would have been pop capped. So he would have to do something. And he had like four guard squads, two. Uh, he had that 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 triple bet sniper. So it's very difficult to keep him, you know, trapped in his base for that amount of time. And that mortar, or that, that 120 million mortar, was doing an excellent job. 60 at just, kills. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, that was a very painful unit to play against. It's it's kind of hit and miss sometimes because some of the games it can be a very accurate unit, and then another game it might miss all the time. And I know I know I've experienced that quite a few times when I've when I've used that unit. Talking about Raz's strategy, it seemed to work very well on Longer. His strategy was sniper mm, yes. first out of a very quickly built special rifle command, dealing with guards and an M3, and then 120 mm mortar. But when you moved on Kolodny Firma for the third game, it didn't seem to work quite as well. Yeah, I think it's because um, it's not as open. The sniper uh, in on uh, Langres, it's, it, it can easily shoot. It's got uh, there's no shot rocks on uh, on Langres that that much. It has a nice uh, clear vision and can shoot and transfer from one side of the map to the other very easily. Whereas on Kolodny Firma, the sniper is, is really useless to be honest. And because um, you've got all these those hedgerows, you've got all of the you know the church, you've got all these other buildings, and it's very difficult to get the sniper from one point to another. Um, so I think the sniper on uh, Colony Firma is a, not a great choice, especially against your Strupen Strat as well. Uh, buildings, on the other hand, uh, were both prominent in, especially in Langres, because I, I find that having guard, for trying to get a guard squad out of a house is almost impossible sometimes. And um, and they seem to be like 100% accurate with their PTRS rifles against against uh, vehicles, and I've I actually never seen them miss. So and their range is pretty is pretty damn uh, long as well. So whenever you uh, 
are up, uh, trying to use light like, vehicles around guards in houses, you've got to be very careful because they can snipe them and kill them in a matter of seconds. Is there any closing statements you'd like to say about Raz and the the series in as a whole? Uh, yeah, I would. Um, well, I've never. I don't think I've ever played Raz before in one v one. Um, it, it normally plays two v twos, as seen by his uh, leaderboard stats. Uh, but yeah, he was. Um, he surprised me with how good he was, and uh, I, I went in into the game thinking this is probably going to be a tough game, so I'm not going to underestimate him. And it was. Um, you know, that first game really tested my strategy because he played excellently with uh, with the with his uh, M3s and his and his scout cars moving the guards around. And it was very difficult for me to get my scout car in and kill that M3 and the sniper in. I never, and I don't think I ever uh, managed to, you know, do that. But I'm, I did that with the the pack gun. But anyway, I think he, um, you know, he played very well. And uh, yeah, he's definitely a formidable opponent. Looking at the brackets now, it seems like you've got Dragonite experts Dragonite mm -hmm. in the quarterfinals, best of five. What what do you think about playing her next? Uh, I don't know. Um, Have you played I her before? I th I don't know really. I know she she played against uh, Dev M and B him in Sunday Night Fights. I. I think that's true. I'm not sure. You need to. I might need to double check I, I that. I heard as much. Yeah, I heard as much. Yeah. Uh, so if she managed to do that, then she, you know, I better watch out. And uh, and I, I do play two v twos with her sometimes as well. And she is, she, you know, she can handle herself and she knows what she's doing. So I'm definitely not going to underestimate her either. And hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll come out on top on the um, during next week when I play her. We've rejigged, we've rejigged the maps. Uh, had a bit of uh, negative feedback about Germans playing south on longer, so we've put them at the north. And we've got the winter Semwar as the first and second games of a best of five. How do you feel about that? Is that a, a good thing, a bad thing? Uh, I don't really like that because uh, my I normally veto uh, both Semoskis when I play as Ostia. Really? Um, yeah, I don't I don't have much uh, luck with that map because I find, especially we're using Ostrupen now on that map, the houses and are, are real shot blockers, and there are so many flank routes uh, and green cover that will that will really hinder my MG42 uh, play. So I think I may have to either I might I might try my Ostrupen strat on that map, or I might have to do something entirely different in order to uh, in order to see if I can uh, pull out a victory on there as a host here. Sounds but I think like I've good got good news for Company of Heroes fans. It sounds like you're going to have to adapt, and we're going to see what you you can come up with. Um, mm. Streaming this Saturday, which will be Saturday what's eight plus Saturday the 14th of February. Um, good luck, hands. Thank have you very fun. much. Well played in the round of 16. Best of luck for the quarterfinals, and um, you know, hoping hoping you you get far in this tournament. Cheers, I appreciate it. Look forward to giving you some good games. Okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye. Or listening, rather.